Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I've never actually filmed one of these videos. And I don't know why, because I actually get a free house. Quite a couple times actually. Um, and I had one not that long ago, so I should have vlogged it. And I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, so as you can see by the title, I am home alone. These are my favorite things ever. Like playing house for like the weekend or the week or whatever is my favorite thing to do. Like do the food shopping. I even like cleaning. It just makes me excited to move out because I'm like, I love having my own space and just like the house without any kids running around and like having my friends around whenever I want. Just like the freedom. I mean, the only problem was last time my mum left me home alone, there was no food in the fridge. Not one bit of food. Like I think the only bit of food was probably like sauces. It was quite a hard time. So to make sure that this time that doesn't happen, I took matters into my own hand and I ordered HelloFresh. I pre-ordered it so that it would come just when I had this free because I was like, I do not need to be worried about food. Like last time I then had to spend all my own money on a full food shop. I'm gonna be cooking that later. Ava's coming around as well so we can have a dinner and we can watch a movie. But I'm so excited because now I actually have dinners. And also, the only other thing is when I have a free, I do end up making like the same meals, which is like chicken, rice and veg, and then maybe fajitas and maybe a stir fry. I'm pretty sure I ordered a stir fry as well. You can't go wrong, can you? Anyways, I'm gonna cook that later, but I have got a lot to do. I'm going away on a cruise, which I will be vlogging, so see that'll be my next video. Um, And so I do need to get my nails done, but I don't think I have time today, so I'm gonna have to go tomorrow, because my flight isn't until like the evening. This is where the problem is. All right, so this is because I had a shower earlier, and you'll know why I had it downstairs. This is my stairs at the moment. And do I walk past this every single time? Yes. Honestly, we don't even want to look at my room. I'll tell you why my room's a mess, because I have no bed. It was meant to come the weekend we got back from the Bahamas, and it is now the next weekend and it's still not here. So I haven't had a bed for a week. Um, I've slept on the sofa, if Grace has slept at her friends, I've slept in her room, I've slept in my mum's bed. Basically, I've been hopping around. But it comes on Monday, so while I'm away, so I need to make sure my room is clear so that it can get put up. I need to clear the stairs. I would say I need to pack my suitcase, but my suitcase is still packed from the Bahamas because all my summer clothes go under my bed. And do you know where, do you want to know what all the stuff is that goes under my bed? In here. This is all the stuff that goes under my bed. So what do I do with that? Close the door. So basically I need to go through my suitcase, repack it basically, maybe add a few more outfits, and then I need to go to Kingston. I need to return something from Zara, and I need to get a new nose piercing because this one's too small. Anything else? Don't know, we'll see when it comes, but. And then yeah, Ava's coming around later. So I need to get cracking. First of all, I'm gonna start by tidying my room. God forbid. Okay, this is my game plan. I'm gonna clear this mess that's around here. Honestly, oh, I've got no motivation for this. Then I'm gonna do my suitcase, and then I'm gonna do the clothes here. So anything that can hang up, I can hang up. Any summer clothes, I'm gonna put in a pile in my room. And then I need to add a few more things into my suitcase from that pile. Oh, can't be asked. God, I literally this morning tried to like blow my hair dry. Blow my hair. Do a blow dry with the Dyson and it just looks awful, it's just all frizzy. But I've packed like my clothes, but then I feel like I'm missing stuff. Like we literally stop off one night in Ibiza and I had this whole outfit planned and then it sold out online. And so now I'm like, I literally don't know what I'm gonna wear. But I got this really nice new Rat and Boa set. Cause I thought I could wear it together and I can wear it separately. So I got this top. It's like this, and then it's like, you can wear it as a bikini cover up, or you can wear it out. And I can't, I do still need to try it on. I just can't be bothered to do it right now. This is the skirt. This is really nice. But I was thinking, would this look cool with like, say a top underneath, a skirt or shorts and like cowboy boots? But I don't know. I might try and find a denim skirt in Kingston State and cowboy boots if I can because then I can wear that with like one of my white shirts or something. I don't really know what I'm going to wear. But I also do have my birthday outfit which is like the blazer with the sparkles which I'm thinking I could wear that with something underneath. I don't really know. Or I have like this from Zara which is like this like skirt and it has like the buckle and then it has a matching top. I think I could wear that or I have like a flowy skirt that I could wear. I don't know. I don't know yet. But I can't be bothered because I've got a pile of snacks from when I went camping the other day that I need to take downstairs. I've got a pile of summer clothes that I've taken out of here because I don't want to take them to thingy. And then I've got all them clothes on the stairs and I can't be able to do any of it. I don't really know. I'm a bit of a mess. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> I had to take my mum's bag last minute because my one of these is upstairs. Probably won't film more on Kingston because I'm by myself so I do get extremely awkward. So um, I just have to 
update you after if I get anything. Right, I just got here. There was actually so much traffic. This is my first time ever going out shopping by myself. I'll let you know how it goes because I'm definitely not filming too nervous for that. Like, I think if I can do an airport by myself, I can do shopping by myself. But then I feel like people think you're weirder if you go shopping by yourself than if you go to airport by yourself. But Ava went this morning and my friend Chloe's in London and everyone else has work. So I had no other option. I had to go. Okay, guys, I did it. Oh, my, that is a physical representation. It was so hot. On the other news, I tried a nice coffee from Cafe Nero because apparently it's really nice because it's like not too coffee -y, which is basically I'm a fake coffee drinker. I just like it if it's really sweet. In America, they had this thing in Starbucks, which was vanilla sweet cream. I don't know if they do it in England and I was too embarrassed to ask. So I was like, I'll just go here because I've had they do coffee. It's quite sweet. It's actually really nice. Anyways, I didn't think I'd go shopping by myself again, I can't lie. It was just, it was boring. And also, it's just awkward. Like, I'm kind of looking around the shop and I, I'm i like, I know in my head I'm alone and that is so embarrassing. But it's even more embarrassing that I'm actually alone right now sitting in my car filming. Anyways, I got 10, pa 10 pound back from Zara because I've said it returned another two things. I got this jumper because I really wanted to get like a woolly jumper. Is that what it's called? For like autumn slash winter. And then it kind of has like these ripped up bits at the bottom, cropped. I thought it looked nice like a pair of jeans. It looks like quite a slouchy fit. And then I just got plain grey joggers that like has a cuff, so I'd like to show that. That's only because I have so many grey joggers and none of them are just plain. They all have like either a bit of green on them or a bit of blue on them or, you know, different colours. And I just need a plain grey pair just to be able to style. Then I went to Boots and from and they started doing the ink list, which I didn't know they did. So I got this cleanser which is salicylic acid cleanser, which is for blemishes and oily skin, which is my skin. And then I saw this, which is a toner, and this is also for blemish and oily skin. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this absolute combo and fix my skin. Honestly, on some self-care journey. Then I got the banana hair mask. Not necessarily that I wanted banana. I mean, I don't mind it, but I know other people hate it, so I don't wanna smell like what other people hate. Oh, it actually sounds really good to be honest because my hairdresser recommended this to me because obviously my hair is going to be falling out soon from how much I dye it. And then I got this shampoo and conditioner which is hair food, papaya and coconut because I was looking at this other one which is the one I always get and none of them, like the one that fit my hair my hair type, they were sold out and they were like eight quid. I'm like, I'm not going to spend eight quid each on something that is not even for my hair type because they sold out of it and I'm just buying it for the sake of it. So I found something that did, which is Garnier. Is it just me or if it looks fancy, then I'm going to buy it because I think it looks good for your hair. But these are only like three pound each. I thought it was brilliant. And it's for damaged hair, which is mine. And then I just got a deodorant. I think that's everything I got. God, I got quite a lot. I'm going to head home now. I haven't eaten all day today because I've been so busy, honestly. I'm so busy. Such a hard life having to go shopping. God. Do you know what? I'm also having a major hot flush right now. <coughs> How am I choking? I haven't even eaten anything. <coughs> Do you know what? That just rem reminded me. I remember I was filming a video once, a YouTube video. I was coughing loads, and it was the time of when like COVID was first a thing. I was like, oh my god, what if I have COVID? So there was like this test where if you can hold your breath for 10 seconds without coughing, then you don't have COVID. It's such a stupid test. God, I don't think I could do it now. Maybe I need to do that test again. Sat there for 10 seconds holding my breath looking in the mirror. Anyways, was like, obviously I'll cut it out. Did I cut it out? No, I completely forgot to. And I was in a rush, so I just uploaded it, didn't check it. And then I got like a message from this girl and she was like, um, I don't know if you was meant to keep this in, but you are like just like staring in like the mirror. And then everyone's like, what is she doing? And I was just sat there for 10 seconds straight, just holding my breath. Do you know how embarrassing that is? Honestly, ever since then, I then got so stressed out about posting the YouTube video because I'm scared I'm gonna do that again. Anyways. Oh my God, my camera's actually staying up. I mean, you can't see me that well because you can mainly see my spirit well. But do you know how long I've tried to get my camera to, to stand up in my car so I can just talk? Because everyone do drive me videos. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna have to get like, I don't know, something that you can sit on. Anyways, my hair has changed because I put it up because it's really annoying me. But I forgot to say, so basically, do you know them like denim Louis Vuitton vintage bags? I've been, is the word I'm in an, I'm in an R in it? I mean, I'm in an R in it for like so long. And like each month that I've got paid, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get it. But the thing is, the reason I was I'm in an R in it is because there was two different ones I wanted. One was like 
cheaper and so i was like i do want the cheaper one but also the other one i could use more because it fits like my ipad in it for example so there's another place i can take it and take it to the airport and i can use it day to day and a lot of people said the other one but for some reason it was like the difference was it was like one was a strap that goes around your shoulder and it was quite it's, it's a bigger bag and then the other one is like you know like the speedy ones like when they're like this and it, you hold it on your arm like this and I was like obviously that could get annoying to hold anyways I've been thinking about it for ages and then now I'm like oh my god like I'm gonna want my bag tomorrow at like the airport and on holiday and they do next day delivery so I'm really hoping it will come tomorrow but anyways the reason that I was really debating it was because I was like I just want like I just didn't know if I could justify spending like the money on it and not that it was like ridiculously expensive it was the same amount as like a normal bag is but like I was just like I really wanted to have that money in like savings just just I don't know basically this is how my brain works basically I have my I have my like main savings which I don't have access to still because it's like for bigger things in the future but I wanted in my personal account to have my own like little bit of savings that I just knew was always there and that I could access and that's what I didn't really want to buy the bag but I was like the fact that I've been thinking about it for so many months and stuff I was like I should get it because I know I'm going to get used out of it and I've been thinking about it so long and every time I get dressed in the morning I'm like oh I really wish I had that bag because like it'll just look really nice in this outfit or whatever. So anyways I bought the bag and I really really hope it comes tomorrow so I can take it and I messaged them and they did say that it should come before 1pm and we say leave at 5. Hopefully if it comes tomorrow I can show you guys. Anyways I'm nearly home. Ava's still deciding whether she's going to come around tonight because she has got a lot to do which is fair enough because there is a lot to do before the flight. Oh my friend's ringing me. Hello? 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 Did she end it? It's Chloe, she's in London and she's bought me cowboy boots for Ibiza and um, they're just like plain black ones and they're from Primark which is so good because I didn't know Primark did them so maybe that's why she was ringing me, I have no clue but hopefully they're nice because I really wanted to find some in Kingston today but they didn't have any apparently the ones in Zara are like 100 quid these ones from Primark were like 24, absolute bargain Guys, this is really not fair Grace got DM'd by Feastables no, I didn't. Yeah. I'm so sad. Oh my god, you're actually so. You've got two boxes as well. No, four. Mr. Beast knows what I am. Grace has all her friends around. So. Oh, look at my bathroom. Oh. What is that on my shoe? I think it's sun cream. Oh no, don't tell me my sun cream leaks my bag. Oh no, because I dropped my sun cream on the floor. Anyways, I was literally like, yeah, I feel motivated. I'm going to go upstairs, pack. Is it just me or anyone else? As soon as they get to their room, motivation gone. I think it's because I saw the mess. Anyways, the cowboy boots Chloe bought me, I thought they were going to be leather and they're suede. And I don't know if I like them. Hopefully, they'll look alright. But, I don't know what to wear. I was thinking, the skirt that I wore for my birthday, I could wear that with a black top and the cowboy boots. And then, if not, I'll wear, like, the skirt. Like, the, I have, like, a frilly skirt that I got from Zara. Which I wore to Reading Festival. But... I didn't get a picture in it, so I can wear it again and get a picture in it. No, it's like this. And it does actually have a matching top, but I probably wouldn't wear the matching top just because it looks too much. But this, I roll it in a bit so that it's a bit shorter. With a black vest top and the black boots, could look quite cool. That's what I'm thinking. Do you know what? I can't lie, I'm going back into my like 2019 Zara vibe. Like, I went through my edgy stage. We don't talk about that. My passport picture still scars me to this day. But I am going back into my Zara stage because I want to be a bit more classy vibe. Like jeans, nice tops. And that was me throughout 2019. I feel like this could actually be quite cute. I probably should have got a medium so it's a bit more like oversized. But this with jeans. I don't know. Do I like it? No, I think this with jeans, a little bag, could be quite cute. Just basic, isn't it? There was another one which I know I should have got it. And I was looking at it and I was like... Do I get it? And it was like a grey one and this the neck came up a little bit high and it was just giving me Sophia Richie vibes and I should have got it. Oh well. Also Grace gave me one of her feastables. Didn't have about that. I'm gonna quickly try the joggers on just just to make sure they fit nicely. Literally just plain grey joggers. Give me a sec. Oh these joggers are actually quite nice. What is that flying about? It better be a fly, not a wasp. I mean, it definitely doesn't go with this jumper, so we'll scrap that out of the idea. But the joggers, might roll them down, wear them tomorrow for the airport. I should have got the matching jumper, but it was cropped, and I didn't know if I would like it cropped. Oh my God, if this matches, 
Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I think it matches. Does it match? I can't tell. But this would look so nice because I have a plain Stussy jumper. Stussy, Stussy, however you say it, that I did nick off my dad because he hardly wore it. So whatever he, I don't see him wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, I will add to my wardrobe. Sometimes I like to go through his wardrobe, just pick some new jumpers for the month to go in my wardrobe. You know, I haven't got boyfriend still hoodies, but I'll steal my dad's. Or, or I think it might be darker. Do you know what? I don't think it looks bad. Like, I think it's a tiny bit darker, but I feel like you wouldn't be able to tell. I feel like I need to, like, roll the jumper up a bit. If this was like this, if I rolled the jumper, maybe I should have got the crop jumper. God, look at me, cropping the jumper. If this was, like, rolled, does it match? I feel like that works. Get up. I knew I should have got these joggers as soon as I saw them. I just had a gut feeling, and I actually think this does go. Will the dark grey go with this grey? Because I don't know if it will. Hmm. Oh, I think, sorry, look at me, I'm actually a state. I feel like that actually looks quite cool. Pray, 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 manifest it. That my bag comes tomorrow, my vintage one, denim one. That doesn't look so cool. Best airport outfit ever. I actually do think I'm a bit of a fashion, a fashion expert when all I've done is put on a grey tracksuit and some trainers. But it just looks nice. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm just gonna put something on my iPad. Because I would want to put my TV on, but do you know what? I actually don't know where the builders have put the remote, because... Bruv, I've been looking for this days. I just found it. Oh my god, my life is going so well today. If my life is going good today, that means the bag's going to come, because I'm lucky today. I'm going to put on... I've been watching Home with the Furies or something like that. It's so good, I actually really like it. The only thing is, they do repeat themselves quite a lot. And I don't know how Paris does it. She is a strong woman. Anyways, I need to stop talking because I'm procrastinating so much right now. I just need to get my room done. Guys, I think... Oh, I've just got a few bits left. But I actually did it. So, so I've packed my suitcase. This is stuff to take down. So, that's my dad's bag. That's my mum's bag. That's rubbish. Wash in. And then I have got to put that stuff in my shower. Guys, this is like the first book I've like pretty much ever read. And it was actually really good. But when, once you read a book, what do you do with it? Because I think I'm just have to give it like to a charity shop because no one else in my family wants to read it. Why is someone's alarm going on? I'm so confused. Anyways, Ava's leaving in a bit and I've asked her to bring the suitcase way so that I can make sure. Because basically this time, I don't, the airline we're flying with, they only do um, 20 kg and obviously I'm used to 23 kg and even that sometimes I'm nearly over. I've definitely, like, 110% overpacked. Like, I will not be wearing all these clothes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Because you know when I'm, like, I was, like, putting these jeans away, and I'm, like, I want to take them, because look how nice they are from Zara. And they've got pearls on them. And I've got a cropped white shirt. would look so nice with them. And you know when you're, like, putting them away, and I'm, like, oh, I'll just take them. And then I've got two different IB outfits. I found that play suit in my wash, and I was, like, yeah, I'll chuck that in. Chuck two more jogger shorts in, pyjamas, obviously. And then I thought I could wear these in Ibiza, but I don't know if they'd be uncomfortable and not IV free. I've got these because these trainers go with everything so that's easy. Two pairs of sliders, a pair of high heels under that, my bags and then my toiletry bag will go there. I've got two toiletry bags, this is skincare, then this is shampoo and conditioner and I've got a tan and oil and my moisturiser in there. I need to add these two but I will probably be using, uh, I probably won't wash my face in the morning let's be real but I'll be definitely using my moisturiser and I've got this but I don't know if these are all going to fit in here. And then, this isn't even my moisturiser. This is, I put my eczema cream in here because it was an empty tub. <sighs> Honestly, I'm such an overpacker, it's bad. Because I know I don't need all this stuff. So, if it's obviously overweight, then I'll take stuff out. If it's not, I'll just keep it all in. Because I need my whole wardrobe to come with me in case my style changes every week. I might be fancying something different each day. And also, I don't really know what we're doing. Like, when we're on the cruise and we're not getting off, I don't know what it's like. It could literally be like, you go down in a denim pair of shorts and a vest top. Okay, Ada's leaving now, which is perfect timing because I've just finished everything. Got my airport outfit over there, charging things for tomorrow. Also, when I went camping, I brought milky bars. They didn't get open. I need to put them in the fridge, actually, because they feel like they're going to melt. I'm going to take Mr. Beast with me. And then these, I'll just eat it now because I still haven't eaten today. Just from what I've literally been non-stop. And it's fine because it's, like, too late to eat now because when Ava gets here, I'll start making food. Do you know what? Everything wouldn't be overweight if it wasn't for this stuff is so annoying because it is so heavy like i'm pretty sure this is probably about 10 kg by itself and i'm not even joking because it's so heavy but it's not like i can take this stuff in my hand luggage because it's all liquids 
Oh, I'm having a bit of a hot flush. Ava's here, but she doesn't want to be filmed. <laughs> this video is kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. As with most of my videos, I always film HelloFresh because they're just brilliant. You can save so much money because they literally send you, which I'll show you in a bit, like every single ingredient exactly, so nothing goes to waste. Okay, so I had three different ones. I had peri peri chicken, like wrap things. I had some noodles and then pulled pork burgers. And we've gone with the chicken ones because they actually look so good. Anyways, this has made it so much easier because I didn't think of all the meals I had to cook. I literally just got to go on the website and just pick from the huge variety. All the food comes in the bag, as I was saying. Literally, the instructions are so easy so I can follow it because me and instructions do not normally go well. But this makes it easy. Just preheat the oven and then when the peppers go in the oven, that's when you start cooking the chicken because it'll, it'll take around the same amount of time. So I'm gonna start preparing like the toppings and things like that. So honestly, the convenience of HelloFresh is so easy. Like I literally haven't had to worry about dinner, I've just had it in my fridge. I get it all out, step, step by. The amount of takeaways I've had recently is so bad. I was like, I have to get a HelloFresh box because I actually start eating that because my gosh, I don't even remember the last time I had a home cooked meal. Yeah, the peppers are in the oven, so I'm gonna start the chicken now. Got the cooking, the cooking, oh my god, the chicken cooking. Look at all the oil that is spat everywhere, I hate that. And then the peppers are in the oven, which I've never done this before, and it's such a good idea. And then I've filled some of the garlic so I can add that when it's like nearly cooked, and then the peri peri seasoning. And then over here, I've prepared the lettuce, mayo. Sweet chili sauce. I was gonna put this in here, but it doesn't look presentable at all. So I found these cute jars that looks a lot better. Okay, it's cooked now. So I've added the garlic, and then I'm gonna add the seasoning. Honestly, my mum needs to cook more hair fresh because she actually needs to learn how to season her food. This is why I cook for myself. Okay, so I made the food. It looks so good. I'm really excited to eat, and it smells amazing. Literally, only took me about 20 minutes. I think it was so quick and easy to make. If you use my discount code this on the screen, you'll get 6% off your first box, which if you ask me, is a really good deal. And I definitely recommend it. So make sure you get it and I'm gonna tuck in now. Okay, I'll put it together. Look how good that looks. Absolutely devoured that. I did, we didn't even set the table. We literally ate it. Well, I ate it standing up. <laughs> ate for prepped us. But then Grace's mates came in and said how good it smelled. So I was like, you know what? So I'm such a nice person. I said, you can pick one and make it. Um, so I think I they're... I know, they're lingering outside so they have laughed at me. Oh. I know, they... I think they kept dropping hints. They're like, wow, what are you making? It smells so good. Yeah. Kept walking past. Oh, what you making? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you guys want to make one? Oh, really? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Gosh, everyone's on to HelloFresh. Right, this is my real because I can't lie, this is feeling heavy. And I took 23 kg to Bahamas and I think I had less, to be honest. Okay, so it starts at 10. Okay. It's broke, so. Oh it's no, it's meal 30. Yeah, so it's over, it's like 31, 32. But then again, when it gets on the actual weighing scale, so I don't know if it'll still be that. I think it might not actually be that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Have you got anything else to pack? Like your makeup or anything? No, it's all in there. Just take yeah. like a jumper out. I haven't got a jumper. Mm. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you could say that then. Oh, I don't want to unpack then. I feel like if I unpack just a few things. Maybe just a pair of shoes and... But I've only got one pair, of, well, I've got two pairs of slides. I've got oh. so much, mine would be so over 20, I thought it was 25. No, mate, that was the other airline and that was the wrong day my mum looked at. They said there's nothing I can unpack because I need them I shoes. Pack. If I take Grace's Dyson Air Wrap, I'll just put it in my hand luggage. Right, let me go shorts because casual shorts I actually don't need a lot of. I reckon one tracksuit, one knife, then some denim. Oh, then again, they're all necessities then. See, do you want the worst thing is Ava's just as much as an overpacker as I am, <laughs> so none of us are gonna be able to cut down here. Okay, I thought I was gonna bring these jeans because I thought my watch shirt looked really nice. I packed two pairs of jeans. This is what I mean, <laughs> there's nothing to unpack but here. You, I know I won't wear them. Yeah. I don't understand how little tops can all add it up, do you know what I mean? Like, I know. But the thing is, I could take out a pair of shorts and that's not gonna affect it. It's because it's all my, um... Toiletries. Yeah. Oh, this is so annoying. Got all the way downstairs and I realised what is a movie night without your duvet on the sofa. You can't tell me this isn't the best thing. Like, I've been sleeping on the sofa, but I've slept on it twice since not having a bed. And it's actually just the best. Like, I don't know, you know when you're a kid, I don't know if this makes sense, but you know when you're like ill, that like you had like a sickness bug, and you would like take your duvet, 
and sat on the sofa all day. Like, obviously, you still felt like absolute shit, but the duvet on the sofa is just the most best feeling ever. Recently, we've been watching all the Bridget Jones, so the last one we have to watch is the baby one. Grace has made us taken over. I have I had nowhere to sleep because here in my mum's room and the bed sheets were stripped, so there was no sheets on the money face. So I was like, okay, I can't sleep in there. So I was like, okay, Grace isn't using her room, I'll sleep in her room. And then I went in there, everyone's bagged everywhere. Her bed sheets were wet because they all got out of the hot tub and sat on her bed. So I was like, okay, I can't sleep in here. So I had to put my mum's duvet at the bottom and then to act as a sheet and then use my duvet as a thing. Because I wanted to watch the TV because I don't want to be downstairs because they're so loud. Me and Ava were trying to watch a film. Tell me why I hear rap blaring on the speakers. Okay. Gone over there. Gone down there and had a firm word with her. Because I'm babysitting tonight, apparently. They're so loud. And I told her, I was like, you know, I was like, tonight. Because she asked me if she could have her friends around to sleep around. I said, yeah. I was like, but the only thing is, you have to be in the outer cabin because Ava's coming around. And we're going to be in the kitchen in front room, obviously making dinner and then having a movie night. Tell me why they were in the kitchen the whole time. Anyways, I don't know what to watch now because I finished Bridget Jones. And I'm so sad because I really enjoyed watching the movies. Like, they were actually really good. Why have I never watched them before? I actually don't know. I could watch Keeping Up The Kardashians because my mum has Disney Plus in here. Anyways, bad news. I tracked my bag and apparently it comes tomorrow at 2 to 3 p.m., which is brilliant and i still don't know what i'm gonna do about my suitcase if it's overweight because apparently it's very expensive like i'm pretty sure one time my mum's was like 60 quid per kg that is so expensive do i want to keep up the kardashians is that my vibe right now i don't think it is i think netflix is my vibe right now how do i work this what more could i put on then gossip girl i'm really watching it because it came back on netflix and it's kind of one of the things i just put on in the background but I can't help but watch it. It's just so good. If you, if this is your first time watching it, skip a bit because I'm about to have a spoiler. But if you have watched it, low key they say who it is from the first episode because the Dan, Dan, that's his name right? Dan is literally at the computer and it says like from Gossip Girl whatever and he's like typing. Then he shuts his laptop and he doesn't even shut it. He walks away and then his sister's like, oh, what was you doing on Gossip Girl's website? So low key, they hint it's him from the first episode. Anyways, I'm gonna watch this and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when hopefully I'll have my bag. And I need to get my nails done. I messaged her, but I think I'm gonna have to set my alarm for like 10 a.m. to see if she replies because I asked for an appointment before like 2 p.m. Anyways, night. Right, I'm off to get my nails done. So she was able to fit me in for two. And then Ava's picking up at quarter to five because we're gonna go i'm gonna wait at hers because iris is taking us to the airport and ava lives near her that's what we're doing um no sign of my bag yet i did track in i'm pretty sure the tracking is quite confusing i'm pretty sure it's in heathrow airport so it doesn't look like there's much luck on that so i really hope it does come within the next few hours I'm praying um but if not it's fine means I have something to look forward to when I get back. I think I'm gonna just go for French tip because I'd always get like these which are natural but they go um yellow from like the chlorine and that. So I might just get like a French tip or something. They also look really long from where they've grown out. But I don't think I'm gonna cut them. I think I might keep them long. Grace is still asleep and all her friends are awake. Most of them have left and I tried to wake her up by ringing her and she didn't and I need her to wake up because that house needs to be spotless. I think my nails done. And I got the, basically I always get the same powder which is like a milky white. And in this one I was like, I'm not really boring so I got French tip. But I don't know if they look a bit weird. Then I got an iced coffee from Co Costa. Why does it actually look like that? I feel like it looks a bit weird. Anyways, because I need to try different coffee from different places to find out where the best iced coffee is. Oh, that is actually really nice. Let's hope Grace is awake and tidied up. But I feel like that is unlikely. And also, tell me why my infill was £42. £42. I'm pretty sure getting my nails done is £35. So why is it so expensive as an infill? Also, I do actually low-key think the guy that does my nails, honestly, they're really good in there. The nails last ages, so I will never stop going there. 
but I do think that guy has a vendetta against me because every time I go in there, he just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Like, okay, for an example, I'm literally drying my nails like in the thing, yeah? And so he's saying like, oh, you can take nails out. Yeah, the machine's still on. Tell me why he picks up the machine and takes it and puts it away. But like, but it just takes it while my hand's still in there. So I'm like, oh, I, I actually think he has, like, I really think he doesn't like me. Like, what was it one time? I was like, oh, can I go to the toilet? And he just looks at me and then goes, go on then. Like, honestly, he actually does hate me. I'm not even joking. Anyways, I need to go home, weigh my suitcase. My mum had this brilliant idea, but I stand on the weighing scale, see how much I weigh, then I pick up my suitcase and stand on it again, and then see how much weight's added, and that's how much my suitcase weighs. Why is that so smart, and why have I never thought of that? I've tried putting my suitcase on the weighing scales, and it don't work. Anyways, I'm gonna drive home now. Unfortunately, I don't think my bag's coming today because I just tracked him. It's still in Heathrow. Maybe if they sent it to Gatwick, I could pick it up. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here because my next vlog will now be the cruise, of course. So, need to end this now, start a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I definitely want to film, like, because in October I have a free house for a week. So, I want to film another one of these videos in more depth when I'm actually completely home alone and have to deal with the food shopping and that because this was kind of like a semi one because it's only for a day or like a night kind of thing so it didn't really count um but i do want to film like a proper one so make sure to wait and check that out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye